Maybe here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing today? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope, Taurus. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do, Taurus, and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments, Taurus. Also, remember, uh, if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. I am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Also, remember to use your intuition, Taurus. Remember that I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards and everything, leave what doesn't. I believe my tarot cards, my weekly horoscopes, are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. And with all that being said, Taurus, let's get into your weekly reading. I pulled some cards for you already, just so I could get an idea of where it is you're currently at in your journey, Taurus. Taurus. So looking at this, we have the lover's card. Number six, write down the number six for numerology, Taurus, as well as Archangel Raphael. He's reaching out to you uh, this week to connect with you if you're open to it. Whatever your spiritual practices are, honey, it's none of my business. So I just like to let you know your options, right? So if you're open to working with Archangel Raphael, do so this week for sure, because there's definitely a calling as well as the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Waters, right? The Moon card, number nine for numerology, and the same spiel with Archangel Haniel, same thing as Archangel Raphael, and the same exact spiel with this as well. The Magician card uh, with Archangel Raphael. So actually, how I like to, uh, it's, I feel like it's the old school, I'm pretty sure it's the old school way of numerology where you add up all the numbers into one or one of the uh, power numbers like 11 or 22. So if we were going, if we were to combine all these numbers towards for you for your numerology this week. So essentially what I want you to do is since you wrote down all those numbers, you add up the numbers uh, all to equate to one number, right? And so for this, this would actually be number seven. Seven is your number this week, Taurus. So now let's just get into your reading. Let's see how these cards are going for you, Taurus. I see stuff opening up for you. Uh, I can't tell right now. Mm, actually, a decision is on the work in the works for you, for sure. A big decision that is for sure a big big decision um something that you're not anticipating um or you're not seeing coming at all Taurus is something that i'm seeing because of that moon card uh but let's get into these cards let's start getting into the specifics of it all this week we're going to start out with your magician card this card says you are ready you have the resources uh to manifest and the ability to manifest and remembering to life is mag magical Honey, apparently I can't speak. When it comes to the Magician card, the Magician is an individual who uh, is taking matters into their own hands. They're the individual who is really actively trying to uh, create something. You, it's like waking up every single day and like that is your first priority and like, well, everything that you do that day and say is based off of trying to get you from point a to point z whatever it is that you're trying to manifest right so let's get an idea of what it is that you're trying to create because normally with the magician card this is just like you already have something in mind and so you're just kind of drilling away at it um and uh, you know depending on the dynamic hoping for a good harvest hoping to at some point see some good results um that is something that i'm feeling for you taurus is i can't help but feel like you guys are waking up every single day and like you know checking your email or checking the mailbox it's almost like some of you Tauruses are waiting for something expectantly and uh, you know you feel as if you can't continue your life until you get this message or until something reveals itself to you. It's just a hunch. So let's look into these cards. We have the Page of Pentacles coming in as a clarifier with the Magician card in the reverse. Hmm, interesting dynamic. And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. 
Okay, so I'm gonna hold the cards upright just because I like to show off the artwork of things as well, Taurus. But in this dynamic, because it's interesting that you get the magician in the reverse to have as your clarifier, because it's showing to me where it's like page of pentacles, your intent is to create this new uh, exchange of energy with something. It's almost like um, you're trying to get something off of the ground, right? Or trying to communicate with something and to bring some life into something or bringing life back into a situation. I say back into, but I feel like for the majority of you guys, it's trying to bring in something new just because of the Page of Pentacles. Pages representing rather uh, new energy, new beginnings. Uh, but you could be looking to have it like a fresh start with somebody. But here's the thing, with these two cards being in the reverse Taurus for you today, this lets me know of your hesitations, right? So this lets me know of where it's just like every single day you you wake up with the intention on wanting to take 10 steps forward towards, uh, towards your end goal. But then there's almost like this res inner resistance I feel like with you. Um, I don't know if you're just, is, this is a situation of where you're doubting yourself Taurus or where it's just like now that you've really, you know, I'll use like the scene from like Nemo for anyone that's watched Finding Nemo. You know, when Nemo goes out uh, to touch the boat, to touch the butt, if anyone, is y'all watched it and know the reference. Um, and the further they went out, they're having a competition with the other fishes. And so the further they went out, um, it was almost just like once they got to really like far out, far enough out, that's when they started looking around and like, oh, wait a minute, this seems really intimidating. I don't know if I can even handle it, right? You start being afraid of the unknown and like everything in that uh, vein. So that's the energy that I'm getting where it's just like, you guys have been really going forward, but now that it's like you're taking you a look around, you're just like, now, wait a minute, did I overcommit? Did, is this a mistake? It's almost like this sense of, um, overthinking randomly out of i feel like it's kind of like out of seemingly nowhere but um you know it could be like a habit of yours that you have with yourself towards where you don't really uh, where you kind of like to doubt yourself right but we have the lover's card now coming in for you now this card talks about intimate relationships carefully weighing out your decisions uh and i kind of been honing in on the message of where it's more so just weighing out decisions it feels almost as if like the situation that you feel so intimately towards that you want so badly um it's almost like the the next step that you would have to do to make or to make to uh uh, progress in this there's almost like a no turning back at this point it's almost like uh something of permanence from your next decision that is made of where it's just like you, there's no going back from here right so let's look at these clarifiers for your lover's card we have the two of cups so really if this is an old situation or old uh whether it's a person or opportunity or what have you um this is definitely letting me know of like you really were like in like you have some history with this with this two of cups here uh the nine of wands as well as the four of swords so you're trying to hmm. it's almost like taurus you yourself are already able to identify with yourself that um, you kind of are spooking yourself out a little bit because it's like you acknowledge the situation so important. You acknowledge the, the decision that needs to be made. And I feel like you just are in this process of warming up to it, right? Like, I don't feel like you're ever going, you're, you're going to turn back from this decision. I just feel like you might be in this process of psyching yourself out a little bit because of the importance of this. Because with this Nine of Wands here, it lets me know for you, Taurus, that uh, you acknowledge that this is like the next thing you have to address in your path. This is not something that you can put off on the back burner anymore. This is really a week where it's just like, for you, Taurus, you're finally like, all right, well, we need to address this thing, this elephant in the, in the room so I can continue going forward into my path, right? So you're really taking a, a lot more of a direct role, it seems like, and um, really, uh, I would say, Taurus, it feels like you're taking more of a, you're taking things seriously now, or where you kind of acknowledge now that it's real, 
right? <laughs> that maybe before it just kind of has been like this thing that's been up in the air or um, the potential of things. But now that it's starting to come right in front of you in your face and things are actually really happening, your life is changing, uh, details are shifting around you. Um, it just feels like for you guys, you're just realizing how real it is and you're just feeling extremely present in the moment. Uh, so you have, let's get into this moon card for you, Taurus. This card says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, and asking you to release fears that are holding you back. So with this, I mean, this goes back to what I was saying before, releasing the fears that are holding you back. This, I do feel like for you, Taurus, you guys are, it's almost like stage fright. That's really the best way I can put this is where you guys are right uh, right about to be on stage and then it's just now you're just like, holy crap. It's processing to you in that moment being like, holy crap, I've worked so hard to get to this point. Or where it's just like, oh wow, this is real. I'm about to be on Broadway. Um, so it seems like you guys are really on your, like on the correct path. It just is now in the situation of a little bit of stage fright. So let's get a little bit more detail on this and figure out why this is. Lots of cards coming out for this one, honey. So, Taurus, we have the Four of Swords for you. The Emperor card. <clears throat> Let's see here, come on, Emperor card. The Page of Cups in the reverse. The Four of Cups. As well as the King of Pentacles. So, Taurus, you're afraid of being up for the task, right? You're afraid that you might fall flat on your face. Like, once the spotlight is on you, uh, all the lights turn off and then your the focus is just solely on you. Um, you only have yourself to answer to. You feel as if that you might mess it up in some way. Um, there's just this, this level of doubt of being able to handle the things that come forward to you, right? And maybe you don't even know what it is that it would be in specific, Taurus. It's just because with this moon card, this is just a lot of the unknown, right? It's being fear of the unknown that's holding you back. And... Um, <laughs> You know, for you, Taurus, this is one of those situations where I can't, I mean, the cards are not, I can't promise, like, the cards themselves are not giving this implication. There's no, like, uh, uh, thing of where it's like this week you're going to come out of this situation uh, immediately and, like, no longer dealing with those, these, like, heavy emotions that are weighing on you right now, Taurus. But... The thing that I hope I can bring you some comfort in is that this is kind of, um, I feel like this is kind of like the final stretch for you guys. Uh, I feel as if like you just need to have like make this one final decision of just buckling down and just go like, you know, just gritting your teeth and just like working through that stage fright, right? And really start performing because that's when, um, you get into this ace of water ace of cups i was about to get ahead of myself um where things start really opening up so the best way i can kind of explain this analogy now is where it's like i see a storyline of where it's like taurus is able to acknowledge that there's something that they need to work through so let's say that stage fright right you're you, this is like something that you've been working on for so long, right? You've been trying to perform on Broadway and that's just been your dream. And now that you're about to be on stage and everything, this is when that self-doubt comes in. This is where you feel like you may not be up for the task anymore. And so part of the reason why I'm saying I had to give you this tough love tour is where it's like, I don't feel like this is something that you can kind of avoid. I feel like you kind of have to um, work through those uh, that discomfort, right? Because, you know, you have to work through that stage fright. And once you actually start performing, right, you realize just how good you actually are um, because of this Ace of Cups. This is a card of uh, your heart opening up and just feeling a lot more fulfilled, Taurus. This card says falling in love or the resurgence of a connection, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and a new home. So this is a, really, Taurus, a sense of finding your purpose. This is a sense of um, being happy with the result um, that you uh, end up creating or are given in this situation. So while I can't necessarily say being like, oh, look out for this one th thing, Taurus, or this is how you avoid this or go around this discomfort, right? With that Knight of Pentacles and the Magician card that we had for you, Taurus, that was in the reverse, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of, this is one of those things where it's inevitable. And I do feel as if you acknowledge this on some level as well because of that Nine of Wands that we had for you. So, but yeah, I can at least the very, I can at least 
promise you rather Taurus that once you do work through this situation that you're going to be extremely happy with the results right so I keep talking about the results of this ace of cups let's get some actual detail and see if we can flesh this out a little bit more for you Taurus <clears throat> All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles for you, the Hanged Man, I love it, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, as well as the Justice card. So yeah, the Knight of Swords, while it's a very fast moving card, it's the card that is, it's the knight that is most in their head, uh, Taurus. So I see you finally getting out of your head of this doubt where it's just like, that stage fright, right? Where you feel as if you wouldn't be able to handle the main role and it's through you actually committing to it and doing it, that's how you realize it. You don't find the realization that this role is meant for you, that Broadway is meant for you, until you're just kind of like thrown into the deep end and have to experience it yourself, right? Um, because of this hanged man, that's the card of committed, uh, being committed to whatever the situation is. And once you actually commit to it, it's seemingly scary, right? No one wants to be hung, but it's like through that situation of committing to that action, you see a new perspective and you see that sun and just which emphasizes and promises just like that happiness, right? Queen of Pentacles implies just more so again of that self-sufficiency and just a lot of stability. And I feel like that's what brings this uh, Justice card in of balancing. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles balances the Knight of uh, Swords for you, uh, Taurus. So really this it does amplify this message of where it's like, it feels like the last hurdle that you need to work through right now, Taurus, is the relationship that you have with yourself and the imposter syndrome that you probably are feeling. Because that's what I think that's really what it is in a nutshell for you this week, Taurus. So where it's you feel like you're having imposter syndrome and you feel like if you were to go out on stage right now and perform or to do the thing that you're wanting, um, that everyone would realize or see you for the fraud that you think you are or that you see yourself as. And you kind of just have to accept in yourself, Taurus, that you're good enough of how, as how you are, that you are not an imposter, that you're not going to be found out, right? Because you got to where you are right now because of your own merit, Taurus. So remember that. Tell yourself that. So now, Taurus, I'm going to be pulling some tarot cards now to uh, for your work and financial wealth and financial situation, as well as your social and love situation, Taurus. So if you're interested in hearing about that, continue along. We're going to start out with your love and relationship reading, though, Taurus. So see what's going on this week. We have the Queen of Water or Queen of Cups, the Ace of Fire or Ace of Wands, the Chariot card, and Three of Fire or Three of Wands. So this really explains from the general reading side of things of like what was going on here because we had that Lovers card, we had that Two of Cups, we had all these like really positive cards in terms of like relationships and persons. Um, and so now with this, I'm really seeing some progression in the relationships in your life this week Taurus. things are either opening up around you or you're just going to start receiving signs from a certain individual of being like of so you realize like where you stand with them right queen of water or queen of cups does imply um you're going to be happy with the result of it because this kind of is a card of where it's like those that you see around you you think of you have like a softer view of them a more tender view of them the ace of wands ace of fire is really that forward is just quite literally making forward movement forward ground very assertive energy as well as this chariot card so two cards really talking about fast forward movement and the three of wands is the card i like to say is like you're spotting land after being out in sea for so long and you're starting to see signs of land so then you're just motivated to continue going forward so there's some relationship in your life this week taurus that is going to uh progress in some positive way that i see this as so i celebrate you for that taurus and now let's see what is going on for my Taurus's financial and work career situation. Let's see what's going on there. My beautiful Taurus, what is going on for your financial and wealth situation? So you guys got the two of, <laughs> two of water or the two of cups, seven, seven of air or the seven of swords and the justice card. You know, this goes back to, again, yeah, the, the, we're finding some message from the general reading tours where it's this sense of, you know, the seven of air, seven of swords. This is your imposter syndrome. This is where it's like, 
a situation where it's like, oh, it's too good to be true, where it's like a lot of good things are happening in your life, Taurus, or building up. And now this situation here, it's almost like this, uh, almost like refusal to like really believe that it's actually happening and it's happening for you. It's almost like you feel as if that something's going to be taken away or the price has to be paid um, before you can continue on with this. Uh, but with the two of water and uh, the balance card, this lets me know, Taurus, of where I really just feel like this this week, you're going to get such a solidifying answer as to why you, it is you've been working so hard on things. And it's almost like you're going to be rejuvenated or just this sense of a uh, sense of release or relief in that whatever sign that you get for your financial and career situation, you're getting like a positive sign of being like, ah, all right, this might be my calling. This is something I need to lean into more. So yeah, a really good week for you, Taurus. Uh, I'm going to close this reading out though, because those cards that I have for you this week for your horoscope today. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below which cards resonated, Taurus. And also remember, I do the zodiac horoscope signs for all the zodiac signs, not just Taurus. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, honey, send them one of my tarot videos, Taurus, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Till next time, I love you so much, Taurus.